Greetings to all my viewers. In my last video, I had posted about the Compton effect, where a electron and a photon is getting interacted. The interaction of a photon with electron gives many such beautiful properties. In today's video, I am going to explain about the optical properties of metals, which all the engineering students of the second semester of physics will be studying. So, the optical properties of metals. So, usually, generally, or I can say basically, when we say about optics, optical properties, we tend to imagine only reflection, refraction, and uh, we always imagine the transparent materials like, uh, say, glass or fiber. We never, our thoughts never go beyond a glass, fiber, or uh, prism, lenses, mirrors, nothing beyond this. But optical properties inside metals has lots of, lots and lots of usages. So, when we see in detail, uh, the interaction of the photon with the electron in the metals will give rise to many beautiful properties like absorption, dispersion, luminescence properties, fluorescence, phosphorescence and beyond all this again the as usual dispersion, polarization. So, it is so amazing that whatever properties that we learn with the light beam, it is also applicable for the metals also. The optical properties of metals, the entire concept is based on the light interacting with the metal. So, the photon interacting with the electrons inside the metal. That is one of the basic, basic property. So, when we go in detail, we can see that this uh, luminescence, luminescence for example, we know it is nothing but the emission of light rays. This properties of uh, optical properties of metals has uh, lots of usages as I told earlier. When we talk about the optical properties of metals, the important property is that we need to know about what is a trap and a color center. Traps are nothing but we know the conduction band and valence band. Traps are the energy level between both the conduction band and valence band which will trap or capture one charge carrier. It can capture an electron or a hole. Okay, when it, when it is going to capture the electron, that electron will not stay in the trap for a longer time. After, after a while, it gets released down. So, when it is released away, it is called a type 1 trap. So, what happens is that when this electron is being released from the trap, they start moving very fast and they start leading to the very high electrical conductivity. Rather, the other side, if the electron that is captured at the trap is not going to be released on time and it is completely trapped permanently, then the electrical conductivity of the metal will start decreasing. In this way, the optical nature of the material can be analyzed further. And there is also called something like color centers. So, when the electron is being trapped by the negative ion vacancy and positive ion vacancy, we have something called color centers generated. It is very fascinating to know that the sodium chloride crystal or the potassium chloride crystals, they are transparent in nature. But people have analyzed that what all the artificial methods we can induce to make it colored. Okay, for example, the, the, these transparent crystals, when a visible light falls on a sodium chloride, pure sodium chloride crystal, there is no emission of light. In beaches like Thiruvanmiyur and ECR in the night time, the sea waves near the seashore, there were some blue color formation on the sea waves. That was because of the blue algae present in the sea waves which were bioluminescent in nature. It was as such emitting some light properties. Light is always very fascinating when we keep listening to it more and more. So, uh, actually, there is a chemical called luciferon. It is uh, present in the firefly also. Why fireflies are emitting light in the night? It is the daytime also they are emitting light. Only thing is because of the uh, complete light in the daytime, we are not able to see the light. It is not visible. Only in the night time because of the dark atmosphere, whatever light is being emitted by this chemical enzyme called luciferon, it is being uh, visible for our eyes. That is like it is having a bioluminescent enzyme in it. Similarly, the blue algae on the seashore, it is because of the pollution and other factors on the seashore. Sea appears to be, the waves appears to be emitting some blue coloration in the night. There is also some beaches there in New Zealand and California, which are bioluminescent beaches itself, which we can, which can be viewed in any of the YouTube channels, any of the YouTube videos. So, thinking of all these importance of these bioluminescence 
and other fluorescent materials we can study about the optical properties of metals in detail which will be shared in my next next videos